Hi again, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now, uh, we may not be able to fly at the moment, but who knows what that announcement on Monday may be. So it's time to get your weather knowledge together, really get in tune with what the weather is doing and do what I've been doing, which is uh, planning some trips and i tell you what the old map has been busy over the last uh, over the last few weeks lots of markings on there now uh places where i fantasy navigated to uh, but the weather's something you can plan for as well uh, and it looks like we're in for an unsettled week this week um some brief flying windows around best of the weather tending to be to the east worst in the west windy at times it's just these flying windows we've got to try and spot. Really tricky deciding exactly where fronts are going to be over the next few days. And it's something worth monitoring almost constantly as well as we go through the next few days. Those of you who've been to weather school will know how to do that. And uh, you're already sending me your feedback in from the weather school that we've had over the last couple of weekends. Great to see how you're getting on with forecasting now and planning up to five days ahead. Tell you what's going to make such a difference when we get back flying. Uh, if you've not been to Aviation Weather School yet and you want to build your confidence in making forecasts yourself, being able to plan ahead five days and just have that confidence that the weather that you're seeing forecast and are seeing out the window is going to be what you expect to see during your flight. Um, I've got six places left on my course on the 17th and 24th of April. So that's held completely online. It's presented live by me on the Saturday mornings of the 17th and 24th of April. It's booking up quick. I only announced it last week. Uh, there's already 12 places gone. So uh, I've got six left. So if you'd like to come along, get your place booked now. Go to weatherschool.co.uk. It'd be great to see you there. Um, OK, then, this is how things look for today. Low pressure in control. This front moving its way eastwards taking out breaks of rain with it we've got brighter weather now moving in for the west but it's going to be windy um i was hoping to see if i could get a quick one in this afternoon at uh, uh green but it looks like it's going to be quite breezy quite gusty um i think heavy showers across the western parts of scotland heavy showers moving their way eastwards through ireland as well so uh, not a great afternoon overall for friday windy um non-flyable i think out towards the west because of the winds because of the rain as well as that front moves eastwards base is less than a thousand feet tops at fifteen thousand feet eastern areas may be marginal at first but cloud is going to be increasing i don't think it'll be particularly rain i think it's just gonna be gusty winds up to 30 or 35 knots so i think that causing a problem for many of us saturday uh again non-flyable really low cloud across much of ireland England and also Wales. These fronts moving their way northwards during the day. Visibility reducing. Base is 1,000 to 2,000 feet if you're lucky. Tops probably at around 12,000 feet. Lots of mist and fog covering hills in the south and the west and the coast as well. And that tendency for that low cloud and poor visibility to move northwards may just be flyable in the far southeast but struggling there i think probably central scotland and northern scotland better 2000 foot bases here 10 to 15000 foot tops but even here i think we're going to be finding things deteriorating through the day now sunday's a better day across central eastern and possibly southern parts of england always this risk though of low clouds or some fog along the southern coast but i think we start off marginal reduced visibility probably some low cloud around first thing as well thinking a thousand to fifteen hundred foot bases but it then improves and becomes flyable i think for most in the afternoon two to three thousand foot bases six thousand foot tops out west still non vfrable because of these fronts that you see low cloud also some outbreaks of rain here Base is 1,000 feet, tops about 10,000 feet. Scotland and Ireland actually becoming better, more flyable, 3,000 foot bases and tops at about 10,000 feet. And yes, I know it, on Monday's forecast, we talked about the weekend looking good, but these fronts are just a little bit further eastwards than they were forecast to be on Monday, hence the reason why we've seen this deterioration. And then for Monday, probably better, still got the risk of a front across the southeast. I think a weak front as well through Scotland and through Western Ireland, non vfrable here. Most other areas, possibly vfrable, 3,000 foot bases, six 
thousand foot tops but one to watch very carefully on monday i've got really low confidence in it tuesday what do you know fronts coming in from the southwest i think that tells the full story doesn't it really looking at those fronts uh i think non-vfrable wind and rain coming in non-vfrable for most maybe vfrable at first across scotland but really deteriorating through the day uh broad warm sector by the way uh in here tropical maritime air mass tropical maritime air mass means low cloud it means poor visibility and it means rain that's exactly what we've got there you'll know that if you've been to weather school i bang on about air masses and uh wednesday well what do you know unsettled again i'm going to say mostly non vfrable maybe lock in sneak something in possibly out towards the east but i think most of us struggle um there are hints of things getting better during the second half of the week but again I'm treating that with a bit of a pinch of salt. Uh, I'll update you with that uh, in Monday's video. Uh, but I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget, book your place at Aviation Weather School. Uh, if you've not been yet, I've got part one on the mornings of the 17th and the 24th of April between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. Presented live online by me via Zoom. Uh, it's always great fun. So uh, do book your place. Go and have a look at weatherschool.co.uk if you want to find out more information about it. And uh, always feel free to contact me and ask questions as well. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to uh, follow uh, us on social media uh, through Instagram, through Facebook, through Twitter. I post various different musings about what the weather's doing, little interesting snippets on there uh, throughout the course of the week to keep you bang up to date with what the weather is doing and keep your flying weather knowledge there as well. Uh, OK, definitely going to leave you now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.